to put a video together on how to get going on a, on a small board like this one over here. Um, this video is for anyone that's become comfortable on a big board like this, you know, a chopped up sup, or perhaps a more specialised uh, wing surf board, you know, well in excess of 100 litres. Um, and moving on to a marginal sinker board, um, such as this one here, which is 65 litres. Um, I've seen a lot of videos um, showing how to um, get going on real proper sinker boards, but very few actually showing techniques for how to get going on these these more marginal sinker boards, ones that will sink down to your knees or something like that under the, under the water. So I hope um, this video uh, really helps you out in this difficult transition period going from something that floats all the time uh, to something um, which you really cannot stand up on and, and get that, that wing aloft um, with any kind of ease. Let's get to it! Here I am in the water, in a good depth. My board is downwind of me and my wing is downwind of that. Uh, my board here is uh, 65 litres, I weigh a little over 80 kilograms. And obviously with the weight of the board plus the weight of my wetsuit and the various hardware, there's a good 20, 25 litre deficit. So the board will sink to about um, to about my knees if I, st if I stand on it. Now before you start, the first thing you want to do is to make sure that all of your leashes are in a good position and they're not, you're not going to get tangled up in it once you start getting on the board. And the next thing you're aiming to do is to basically get your front hand onto its normal flying position on the uh, on the boom or on the handles on the on the wing. So to do this, you're reaching over the top of the board with your front hand, um, perhaps grabbing the leading edge handle and then working back towards uh, your normal position on the uh, on the handle or the boom of the wing. Here we are in a good position after completing that. My body's over the top of the board, uh, my legs are, are out to give me some balance. The next thing you're looking to do is to get up onto that board. The easiest way to do this is to get your back hand, place that over onto the far rail, and together with that and your hand on the, on the wing, pull yourself up onto a kneeling position with your knees across the board. If you have any straps on the board, um, these can get in the way, but they can also give you a good bit of guidance of exactly where to put your knees. So being strapless means you've got nothing in the way, but having straps means that you've got a good idea um, where to put your knees once you've tried it a few times. You've got a point of reference. If you've done this correctly, you should be in a position something like this. Uh, your knees well over the board, uh, your feet hanging off the side. Uh, you've got a good balance and you're using that wing, which you can pull down on into the water to, um, to have something to, to balance yourself against. Um, at this point, uh, the wing can be resting on your head or shoulders. That's kind of quite a good position for it to be. The next thing you're looking to do is to get your back hand onto the correct position on the wing, uh, whether this be on the boom um, or on the handles. So to do this, you basically reaching underneath the wing um, you can use your front hand pulling the wing down into the water to help give you some stability and you can also put the leading edge of the wing over your shoulder and pull it down into you to give you a little bit more stability too. Unfortunately uh, the camera view is obscured but this is basically what I'm doing um, underneath the wing. If you've done this all correctly you should be at this position now. Having got this far, you've got most of the difficult work done. Uh, you can, you've got plenty of balance because you can pull the wing down into the water. Uh, both the tip and the rear of the wing can be used to help balance yourself. And now it's just a matter of getting that wing flying. Um, so pushing it up into the, into the wind, uh, letting the wind catch the underside, and you'll soon start to accelerate forward. As you start to accelerate, um, you are wanting to start progressively moving your knees round so they're pointing more towards the direction of the board. Um, so as you're moving and you, as you've got a little bit of momentum and stability, uh, this shouldn't be too difficult to do. Once you've got enough power in the wing, you can then start considering uh, getting to your feet. And this should really be child's play from now on. 
Um, all of the difficult part of it's done, and yet you can pretty much use the wing to help pull you up, and before long you will be in the flying position. All is left from, from here on in is basically to pump that wing um, with your hands and with your legs, and you will be up and flying in no time. We've nailed it. Here's the whole sequence once again in real time. So here I am grabbing the handles, pulling myself onto the board, reaching for that back handle. Both of my hands are in the right position now on the wing. I'm now showing it to the wind, raising it up and slowly gaining power. The board is starting to accelerate. I'm starting to shift my knees round to align along the length of the board a little bit. I'm gaining a little bit more speed, starting to pump a bit. Now I can get my front, front foot up, my back foot up, and now I'm pumping. And we've done it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Uh, please do get out there and give it a go. Um, if you've got any comments, um, yeah, please do put them beneath and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, if you feel like it, hit a like, that'd be very much appreciated. But what's important to me is you get out there and shred. Catch you later. Bye.